Lindsey Brown, what a story she is in a sixth year for the University of Denver. Lindsey is high on the watch list. And she sticks it. And a double layout dismount. She's got it. Lindsey Brown delivering for the Pioneers. To come back twice from Achilles tears and just with a smile on her face and joy in her heart. It's a 10 for Lindsey Brown on floor. What a way to cap off an incredible career. That's a gift to all of us. Hi, my name is Lindsey Brown, and I recently just finished up six years at the University of Denver, and I decided to start the journey to Paris 2024 Olympics. It was a tough decision, more physically than mentally. Um, I knew mentally that I could do it. It's just physically, at this point in my career, having been through a couple injuries and just being a little bit older, I was a little nervous. I tore my Achilles tendon twice in two different years and coming back was something that was hard but I knew I wanted to do it because I was passionate about gymnastics. I really had to rely on my family and friends to keep me motivated and knowing that it was bigger than just me and there is a why and people always talk about finding your why and for me it was I knew that I had more in me to give as a leader, as a teammate, and as a friend. And, you know, it was a lot of hard rehab and it took a lot of time, but I think I'm where I'm supposed to be. Going through the injury, I learned, again, that I can't do it by myself. I learned that it's okay to cry, it's okay to be frustrated, but it's not okay to sit there. You have to think about, okay, I recognize I'm feeling this way, but what's next? How can I get back up? How can I get the things done that I want to get done to put myself in the spot to be the most successful? And I just learned that I'm so strong and I didn't need to have everyone else tell me, but going through that experience made me realize I can do anything I put my mind to. And I'm just happy that I allowed myself to go on that journey because I was scared. Doing six years was not easy, but I also got a great education out of it. I made some lifelong friends and kind of my destiny, I was on a path that I wasn't supposed to be on originally, but now as I'm training for the Olympics, hopefully in 2024, I'm really set up well by continuing to train throughout those injuries and having people by my side that will continue to not give me knowledge and just, I don't know, be in my corner no matter what. I have some really great support system. So if you have that around you, really rely on them. It's okay to ask for help. I decided to go for Haiti, which is my dad's home country. And the journey was a little daunting, just seeing so many Olympic quads and seeing how hard those athletes worked. I knew it would be a lot, but I'm just, excited because I've always dreamed of going to the Olympics and you know I really thought about what this means for gymnastics as a whole um, not everyone can compete at such a high level and I know this is the start of gymnastics in Haiti and inspiring other little gymnasts that can do something similar so it's for me but it's also for all the people that didn't think they could do it. All the people that have been through injuries and wanted to come back, I'm, I'm doing it for both of us. <laughs> At the core, it's important to me because as a young athlete, I didn't see many people that looked like me. I didn't know what was possible. I just saw very talented gymnasts that didn't look like me, so I was questioning, do I belong here? So I think that's why today, when I come to camps like this, I really try to connect with not just all the kids, but the kids that really don't have as many role models. And today we're seeing people like Jordan and Simone killing it. And I'm just happy that we can inspire kids to try something like this because I didn't have these wonderful opportunities and times to build community. So getting to connect with gymnasts one-on-one -on -one is really fun and keeping contact with them on social media. So I hope you guys follow. and get to really connect because it's a huge community here and whether what no matter what you look like we're just so excited to welcome everyone no matter where you come from who you are you're welcome here